what's up you guys this is Rob from a gay guy plays and today we're crawling out of our graves when we get dressed to kill with the savior of phobos himself and aros now i've been doing a lot of toying around with color schemes for our favorite little pharaoh and admittedly there are some really awesome options available to him depending on the placement of your accent tones from dark and dingy and fresh out the grave to stunning space ninja royalty Anaros can run the full gamut in style now due to the fact that his standard helm is a bit odd to me, one of his must-haves is the alternate Anubis helm. Named after the jackal-headed Egyptian god who ushered souls into the afterlife, not only is this a perfect thematic fit for our sarcophagus dweller, but it scratches yet another animal off of our zoo frame list. You can pick this one up in the market for 75 plat. Now to be honest with you, at first I had some issues getting the look that I wanted out of the Naros, but after a little bit of experimentation, I realized that it really boiled down to where you put your accent color. If you want the most pop, you'll toss it into your primary, however if you're looking for something a little more subtle, but still provides a visual appeal, you'll put your accent color in the tertiary instead. So let's start off with those two. Now your primary dictates the color on your legs, thighs, forearms, shoulders, neck, and torso, basically like almost all of your frame. So if you plan on tossing your accent tone here, I'd suggest something a little less intense, like a muted gem tone. However, if you're a bit more daring, feel free to go for something more saturated. Now if you're not putting your accent tone here, I'd suggest a tonal gray or off-white that matches the temperature of your intended accent color. Skipping over to our tertiary tone, this dictates the accents on the knees, forearms, torso, and tops of the shoulders as well as the details on your hands, feet, neck, and thighs. Same rules apply to this section as the primary. However, if you're making this your accent tone, you can go a bit more intense with your shade selection as it isn't as overwhelming as your primary. Alrighty, going back to our secondary, this governs the tone of the fabric bits, which can be found pretty much all over his body. Now, because I am a bit OCD when it comes to these things, I tend to like to keep the tonality in the linen family. So off-whites if you want them to look a bit aged, and muted tans if you want them to be a little dirtier. Now, the accent tends to border the fabric bits of our secondary color, and can also be found as etching on our primary. This one is the trickiest one to manage, so recommendations are a bit rough, as you'll need to select a shade that shows up on both. Me personally, I tend to use the darkest version of the secondary tone I can find. And if you pay attention to the color schemes I'm about to feature, this is usually the darkest tone in the entire look. As for the energy color, since I keep my frames pretty understated, I like to use these as little splashes of a second accent tone. It doesn't affect the overall look of the frame too much, with small points of light on the tips of his toes, fingers, a few subtle touches along the waistline, and of course, his dog nipples. This is a great way to add a bit more interest to the frame without necessarily going overboard. Now with that said, let's get dressed. So all in all, Anaros is pretty fun to customize due to the fact that his color segmentation is spread out just enough that you can use accents in places where other frames would literally drown in color. Balancing accent with neutrals is extremely important however, as adding too many conflicting tones may make you look a little bit crazy. Now if you're thirsting for an extra pop of color, Anaros does also take accessories fairly well, especially those that utilize energy effects as they can add further interest without having to add yet another shade into the mix. Because let's face it, who needs any extra attention when you've already got your hanging out like that. So thank you all for watching another episode of Dress to Kill. If you haven't already caught it, be sure to check out my previous episode on Oberon's Fayarg skin, as well as the return of Invite Only. Now don't forget to do all the things that I asked you to do at the end of every one of these, and as always, stay drop dead gorgeous. We need to stop, American. you know, we need to perpetuate knowledge, not... Oh no, I'm all about perpetuating st stereotypes. Have you not watched my channel? <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> yes! Well, yes. I mean, I have I'm a gay American. Give me yet. guns and dicks.